Welcome to Norway 1940. We are going to talk about Norway and World War II. Germany is on the loose with the Holocaust. World War II started in September of 1939 when the Germans invaded Poland. They are not done yet. I'm still hungry for territory. Let's just aim at the map on one country we will invade next. Ah yes, Norway. We never invaded there. They didn't fight in World War I. But we shouldn't underestimate them. We have already claimed Denmark for ourselves, so controlling Norway would give us access to their extensive coastline for controlling the North Sea, and it would also aid our ability to import iron from Sweden. They are occupied currently by the Jessopo, so let's give them a surprise. Send all Navy and troops to the ice free harbors in the Atlantic Ocean. Code name is Visa Ubong. And so they did. Norway was very surprised. Germany invaded Norway on April 9th, 1940. They came in and took over Norway. 10,000 men and women were killed. 700 of them were Jews that were sent to concentration camps. I won't abide by your rules. Well then, Zudai. Anyone else not willing to follow rules? Good. You will be sent to concentration camps. It's not like we have a choice. You're the one with the control. Are you being smart with me? No. Help me. I'm being forced to do labor. The king and the government fled to Linden and other parts of the UK to continue their campaign of resistance from there. There was not much military resistance in Norway a few days after being overtaken. The police were being controlled by the Nazis and a new government was installed in Norway. Well, that's imperialism. Follow all orders or die. No. Then, Zudai. Although Norway was controlled by Nazi Germany, Norwegians carried out illegal actions during the war. The Nazi police had the right to arrest anyone who looked suspicious, even listening to culturally inappropriate radio stations or reading many of the legal grade market newspapers would commonly be punishable by death. You look suspicious. So I arrest. Wait, what? Even though Norway was under control, most people could go to their ordinary job and children went to school. However, food, clothing, and other goods were rationed, and the future felt uncertain. This is the. <laughs> Pitiful. Norway had a large fleet of merchant ships before the war. During the war years, 1940 through 1945, Many of these ships transported goods to countries that were at war with Germany. The Norwegian government in Linden organized this traffic. Around half of these ships were torpedoed or bombed. Almost 4,000 Norwegian sailors were killed during the war. Alright, we have to transport these goods. What's that in the sky? Oh, it's just a plane. Well, that's true. But what is it dropping? Well. Uh... BOOM! Even though everything seemed hopeless, Norway fought back against Germany in 1945. We will no longer be controlled by you! Fine, fine. We surrender. Yay, we're a free country again! Enter a celebration that was totally organized because they're free now! We're free! Assuming at least a Jew or more that lived in Norway was freed from Auschwitz. Everyone was happy about this. Uh, well, almost. Around 50,000 Norwegians were, could, were found guilty of treason after the war. They had been members of the Norwegian National Socialist Party. Now Jonas Samling, who sympathized and collaborated with the Nazis. 25 people were executed for treason after the war. I said Jew to death. Oh man, I regret nothing. This tablet quality is so terrible. I'm totally not doing this to waste time to reach the five minute limit. After 1945, the reconstruction of the country began. This was a very, very busy period. Both production and exports increased, and the merchant fleet was built up again. M many people found work, even though the wages were not that high. Poverty declined, 
Most people were very optimistic, and many people were eager to play a part in Norway's reconstruction. Terms such as equality and equal worth became important to the people. Norway's economy gradually improved, even though some of the goods were still rationed until the late 19. We are happy to help. In the decades after the war, a number of reforms were introduced that would improve the lives of everybody. Work hours got shorter and holidays got longer. In 1967, the National Insurance Act was introduced. This act was intended to ensure financial security for all citizens, including the old and the sick. You are old and or sick, so I take care of you. Yay. <coughs> this event was important by how Norway was able to come back from being controlled by Germany and improved their sort forces. It was quite a depressing time back then and hopefully a World War III doesn't start today.